Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Diane and this is my uh, floss tube channel Frog and Fudge where I share my hobby cross stitch and today as you've probably read in the title project bags. Now if you watched my last cross stitch video then you'll know all my plans for the last few months have not worked out and it's the same with project bags which is another of my hobbies. Every month I plan which fabric I want to stitch and then everything goes wrong and nothing happens. So this time I uh, only have a couple of bags to show but I have fabric as well and it's divided into three themes. Uh, beloved critters and fur babies, uh, almost Halloween and autumn. Now I'll just begin with the sizes. I have three standard sizes that I work with and that's the my XL, that's uh, 40 by 40 centimetres. It'll hold an 11 by 11 Q-snap easily. You can see there's quite a bit of space there. And uh, an A4 chart upright also easily because there's that much space above it. And then I have my what I call my cubby. This is 30 by 30 centimetres. There we are, get the light off it. And it holds an 8x8 eight eight frame. And there's my temperature tree, which I haven't worked on in months. And then, oh, fallen over. And then my L, excuse me, and that's the first of the fur babies and critters. This is my L. It's 40 wide and 30 high. It'll hold uh, an 11 by 8 Q-snap and an A4 size chart sideways. Now this fabric is peculiar, it shows pets and also some wild animals photoshopped to be wearing Edwardian costume and then in photo frames. So on the front panel I've got part of a dog and a deer and on the back we have a dog in the top hat and a cat there and a guinea pig. I chose this because I used to have guinea pigs. I've got fabric left and uh, if you, you're interested then I can send you better pictures just quickly. There are several different animals. I think that pug dressed up as a little boy is cute. And, oh yeah, there's raccoon. And I think there's a fox somewhere. Let's have a look, see if I can find the fox. Oh yeah. There, there's the fox. And this could be fussy cut to show whichever whichever part uh, you like the best. Then, oh I forgot to show, this is quilted at the back with a kind of a, a warm beige. And then quilted on the panel at the front. Can you just see? Mm, lighting. Then I have this one. It's all about dogs, happy dog life. If I hold it closer. And it's been quilted in grey just so that blends in. I think there's enough going on with the pattern. And there's the front. The lining I chose this fabric. I thought it reminded me of frisbees and dog bowls. And then it's been bound with this uh, spotty spickled uh, fabric. This is a cubby size and I have more fabric of this if anyone wants a different size. Then I have my library cats. Don't they look so smart? I don't know or are they having a strategy meeting? Whatever. I think they look intelligent so I teamed them up with goldfish in jam jars just to tease them and again this has been quilted with let's see if I can get it close enough you can just see there a kind of a yeah warm brown warm medium to light brown that blends in and you just see the stitching there that way it doesn't detract from what's going on again I have more fabric of this if anyone wants a different size and then I don't have any more uh, critters bags made up, but I do have other fabric. Um, this one was recent. This fabric was recently made up for a custom order. 
crazy cat. I have more fabric of that. And then I have, I love my dog. Obviously these are very busy patterns and might not look terribly good on uh, a large bag. Then I have puppies. Puppies galore. Again, really busy, busy fabric. And then, and I also have kittens, kittens and flowers. The whole, again, if I hold it back here, it doesn't make much sense. It's probably more suited to a cubby size. So that was it for beloved critters. And now, I call the next one almost Halloween because everywhere locally near me has no Halloween fabric. They don't buy it in. So I have some sugar skulls. This is a, an XL 40 by 40 that I have made up. So it's not quite Halloween, but almost. There we go. And then this has been quilted. Oops, show me, please. Yeah, you can just see there, light blue. So that again, it just blends in. You can just about see the quilt lines there. So it blends in, doesn't attract. And the lining is a polka dot. <laughs> the other one is not even finished. It's a start, that's the back. It's uh, again, just black and white sugar skulls. And the lining is a grey polka dot, but I thought it was a little colourless, so I've quilted this with, can you see, red. And it'll get a red zip. I also have more fabric of this if anyone wants another size. Same with the, uh, it's very bright. <laughs> These very bright coloured uh, sugar skulls, I have more fabric for uh, other sizes. Then autumn. I also recently made up a bag, a, 40, a large 40 by 40 in this lovely sunflower fabric. This is probably, if I hold it like that, more suitable to um, a large bag. But again, it, yeah. Although I suppose, yeah, you can. Yeah, I could fussy cut it. If you made a small bag, yeah, that works too, doesn't it? That's uh, sunflowers. Then I have apples. I'm missing fabric. Oh well. And this has gold printing in it if I hold it close. Yeah, take another look. You can see the gold around the leaves and the berries and the apples. Yeah. I thought that's autumn -y, but with the gold, getting into Christmas. Anyway, then I have uh, autumn leaves. Another busy fabric. These are all cottons. And then I have frozen leaves, which is sort of autumn going into winter. Don't really want to think about winter, but there we are. If I hold it really close, and then back. There we go. Now all of this will be posted on my Instagram, and I've opened up a, a, a new Instagram account. <laughs> it's called Frog and Fudge, and it's open to everybody. My uh, personal Instagram account is um, you have to request to to follow me. And I did that specifically because sometimes there's going to be pictures of my family in there. And I've had a couple of creepy guys wanting to follow me and I, I just can't understand why or what they think X-Stitcher means. So, yeah, I now have a Frog and Fudge account. And I'm hoping to open an Etsy shop. And then that'll either be called Frog and Fudge or Frog and Fudge Designs. But uh, when and if that happens... I'll let you know. If you've watched this far, thank you very much for staying with me. Next video will be about cross stitch. Um, 
yeah, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.